I'm Janae Morton. I'm from Osseo Senior High. I'll be attending Eastern Michigan University, and my favorite player is Dwayne Wade. I'm Lachey Holt from Humboldt, St. Paul. Um, I'm a forward. I'm going to St. Kate's, and my favorite athlete is Maya Moore. My name is Danielle Hernandez. I went to Humboldt High School. I'm going to Northland Community and Technical College. Uh, I play a shooting guard, and my favorite player is LeBron James. My name is LaShondra Curtis. I'm a forward center. Uh, I went to Central High School, graduated, and next year I'm going to NDSCS. My favorite player is Kobe Bryant. Uh, my name is Talaya Rich. Um, I'm a forward. Um, I go to Cooper High School. Uh, I'm going to Odessa uh, Junior College for or next, next fall. Um, and my favorite player is LeBron James. All right, my name is Phyllis Webb. I go to or went to Osseo Senior High. I'm going to Eastern Michigan University. I was a forward and I'm still going to be a small forward or a wing in college. And my favorite player is LeBron James. I'm Taylor Anderson from Hopkins High School, point guard. Um, I'm going to University of UConn next year for track and field. And my favorite player is Nate Robinson. Uh, hi, my name is Lola. I am a point guard. Oh, my, uh, I'm going to North Dakota State, and my favorite basketball player is Kobe. Hi, my name is Lila Horn. Uh, I'm from Como. My, my position, I play point guard. Uh, the college I'm going to is North Dakota, and I don't really have a favorite basketball player. I like Carmelo, though. Tyra Johnson, I'm a forward. My favorite player is Kevin Garnett, and I'm attending Minnesota State Mankato next year. 
My name's Chelsea McGee. I'm a point guard. I went to Cooper High School, and I'm going to West Florida, University of West Florida, and my favorite player is LeBron James. I'm Alexis Boyd Lockett. I went to um, Simley High School. Um, I'm going to Nyack, North Iowa Area Community College. I'm a point guard. Hi, my name is Taylor Cunningham. I went to Johnson City High School. I'm going to West Virginia State University. I'm a combo guard. My favorite player is Dennis Robinson. My name is Tamara Curtis. I went to Central Senior High School. I'm a point guard, and I'm going to North Dakota Science. And my favorite <coughs> player is Taylor Hill. My name is Sade Chapman. I went to St. Paul Central High School. I'm going to Clemson University, and um, I'm a center, and my favorite player is Kobe Bryant. I'm Lena Starr. I'm going to Auburn University. I'm a point guard. Um, I went to the Hillsdale High School. And my favorite player is Kevin Durant. Side cage, point guard, undecided, Roosevelt High School, and LeBron James. My name is Tyshawna Johnson. I'm a guard. My high school is De La Salle, and I go to Iowa State. University. My favorite player is Kobe Bryant. I'm Mariah Carruth. I'm a point guard. My high school is Johnson Senior High. I'm going to Riverland Community College and my favorite player is Simone Augusta. Hi, my name is Mel Scott. I play shooting guard. I'm going to the University of Kansas from Johnson Senior High School and my favorite player is LeBron. to the 20th annual Inner City All-Star Classic. I am Troy Russell with James Fassel. We are here for the girls game. Uh, we have Team uh, Faith, okay, versus Team uh, Truth. Uh, what you see in today's game, James, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for a real <clears throat> up and down game. Um, there's a lot of talented players this year. Um, it's, a, it's a deep class. In talking to a lot of the players, a lot of them are going on to play college basketball. So this will be a great um, end, of, you know, you know, end of a high school showcase for these young ladies. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And you know what I'm looking for in these games is it's always up and down. You know, uh, playing hard. Uh, watched them in practice on Friday, and they were you know playing hard and intense and looking right away. Uh, these uniforms are gonna make it difficult on us today. Yep. <laughs> for sure. So we'll Starting out looks like for Team Faith, we got Alina Starr, mm -hmm. Tyshawna Johnson, um, Tynika Cage. And Johnson has a, uh, she's got five rebounds and two, she has five rebounds and two points on one series. Tyshawna Johnson out of Dealer Cell. Exactly. Jumping is her strength. <laughs> nice move to the basket there. Chelsea McGee. Out of Cooper. Elena Starr. Go, 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 go. 
Chelsea McGee now again with the ball. Nice pass ahead there. Nice but yeah, great. As a, you know, as advertised, it is up and down. Up and down. You know, I think the girls are nervous. A lot of missed layups in the beginning, but as they settle down, it's going to settle into a good game. So again, we have our team. Team Faith is in with the uh, gold, the gold front, and Team Truth. Tyshana Johnson for three. Tyshana Johnson opens up the scoring. She is a very versatile player. She can play inside and out. She's got five points already. Chelsea McGee for Team Truth with the ball. Team Truth is with the gray front. And three by Tyra Johnson from Eastview. She had a great, a phenomenal state tournament for the high school league, which really was her coming out party and got her a scholarship to Mankato State University. Headed to Mankato State, a good program out there. Shade Chapman with the ball. Tanika Cage dribbling around her back. Inside Chapman again, up strong, no good. Cage with the rebound. Taylor Cunningham on the rebound and put back. Chelsea McGee, see what she does. She's lightning quick, pull up, no good. Oh, ball slipped out of her hand. That was Phyllis Webb with the ball out of Osseo. Chelsea McGee over to Chapman. Great run out. Chapman with the ball now. Oh, hey, got away with a little bit hey. of travel there. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, in games like this, you just kind of let them play a little bit. Just let them play. A little yeah. travel here and there doesn't hurt. No, you're not going to see too much, uh, too much of that call today. No good. Cunningham with the ball. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, you know, out of team, out of, out of team true, coached by coached by John Robinson. I see a lot of threes right now. Their team's kind of settling in. Chelsea McGee does run the show. She's a great point guard, penetrate, and I see a lot of threes. I'm sure Coach Robinson will talk to them to get his next next group getting the ball inside and getting some getting some balls on the backboard. For sure, for sure. We got Taylor at the line. Missed the first one. Miss Cage at the line misses the first one. Looks like John Robinson will be the first team. Truth will be the first team to sub. So he went five for five. Tanika Cage from Minneapolis Roosevelt High School. Yeah. Undecided on what school she's going to right now. Kind of a late arriving crowd here. People say, oh, okay, we got a host of subs coming in the game now for both teams. And so now it looks like Team Faith sub. Looks like both teams kind of went a five for five substitution. So now we got all new players on the floor. With the ball now, number 11. And that's number a, 11 is, is Lola Horn. Lola we got two Horn. twins on the floor. Lola and Leela out of Como Park High School. Janae Morton pass it back to Horn. Leela Horn. And the finish. And one by LaShondra Curtis. John, you know, Coach John Robinson came off the bench with size. <laughs> uh, you know, LaShondra Curtis <laughs> is a is a is a good size player, height and thickness, and um, she's heading to School of Science next year in North Dakota. <laughs> Finishes the old school uh, three point play. A lot of scoring here early. Shot up, no good. Fuck it up. Real scrappy, no call oh, there. Horn One of the, the twins ball. comes out with the ball, pushing it up the floor. Looking team, team Faith does a good job of stopping the transition. Talaya Rich with the ball to the basket. Big, strong Talaya. Oh! Foul call. Rich, strong player out of Cooper High School. Yeah, for sure. Her you know and, uh, Chelsea McGee made a nice little tandem there for the last three years of their high school. 
uh, career the, first two, eighth and ninth grade there at Minneapolis North. Yeah, exactly. You know, and early on it, in, in all-star games like this, as players, you know, get comfortable playing with, playing with each other, you see a lot of one-on-one -on -one play simply because they're not really comfortable where each other's cutting and all that. So I think early on here, that's why you see a lot of three-point shots and a lot of just one-on-two or one-on-three going to the basket. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, the guards in all-star games, the guards are the ones that are going to get the majority of the shots. Biggest got to get theirs off the boards, rebound the ball, get putbacks. Ain't going to be too much pulse entry going on nope. in this game. <laughs> no, <Nope>, that's <laughs> for sure. Another, another jump shot taken. By Janae Morton from Osseo. Curtis comes up with the rebound, probably her third, fourth rebound. Horn. And Horn, Lola Horn with the with the putback. I'm pretty sure that's Lola. I don't know if I got it mixed up in and if they got it mixed up on the paper here. But we're pretty sure that's Lola. Could be Lila. <laughs> they look exactly alike. Oh, three oh. and foul. That is Chanel Scott. Is that a Chanel Scott? That's Chanel Scott out of St. Paul Johnson with the three, and she gets fouled. So she'll be at the line to complete a four-point play. Chanel looks like she's going to uh, University of Kansas. University of Kansas, okay. I think just just a, just, just going to be a student. Not sure that basketball yes. is going to be a part of it, so yeah. that just shows her, her, her great academic um, standards. Exactly. Exactly. Kansas has got a good program. They landed the number one um, male recruit um, in Wiggins this year yep. on their males program, so they're pretty excited about what they got going on down at that university. Exactly. Lila Horn with the ball. Yep. So it looks like Coach uh, Robinson's got his team running kind of a four out, keeping the high post, and the twin looks like Lila Robinson. I mean, Lila Horn knocks down the three. Coach Robinson looks like he's over there telling him to just play the game. You know, play your game and not, you know, worry about it being an all-star game. This play. A lot of girls are nervous early. Once they get loose, it's gonna, you're going to see a lot more. Exactly. Alexis Lockett out top from Simley High School. To the basket. Oh. To the basket on the drive out of bounds. Looked like a lot of contact there, but it's an all-star game. Let them play. Hard foul out to Mira Curtis. Going to the basket hard. Headed to North Dakota. School of Science also. They got a lot of girls from this game headed up to North Dakota School of Science. They got three. Yep. So ball back over there. And the Morton Curtis to the basket. Curtis oh. to the basket again. Loses it. Flair Rich picks it, picks up the loose ball, pushes the ball up the court. Foul on the play. Foul on the play by Tamara Curtis. So James is bringing another five here. Oh, uh, out of these girls here, did you get a, 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 did you get an opportunity to see me of these girls play during the season? Uh, what was your you know takeaway yeah, from? I mean, you know, actually, um, I've coached against the two Osseo kids, um, mm -hmm. Janae Morton and uh, Phyllis Webb, uh, for the last two or three years, and so they've been dominant players. Both of them going Division One. Um, so, you know, a lot of these players over the past few years I've got a chance to see play, and a lot of them have played in state tournaments. So, you know, uh, you know, a lot of them have been on TV and been on the big stage. So I think this, this, this is great for them to be able to finish their career yeah. playing here at St. Thomas University in the Inner City All-Star Classic. So we just gave uh, Faith Johnson an award, uh, an achievement award for having uh, she had 400, 415 wins, only 99 losses in her career with eight state championships. Um, is that one outstanding career so far or what? That's incredible. You know, being a high school coach myself, knowing how difficult it is to get to get 15 wins in a season. Uh -huh. You know, you know, let alone over her time, I'm sure she's averaged about or probably almost 20 wins a season if you average it out. So Faith has really done a good job, and she's really been a, a mentor for a lot of the young ladies that she's coached. You know, because she's really been a mentor, a mother, you know, an auntie or whatever you want to call it for these young ladies. Yeah, Tyshana Johnson, her niece, which is um, Faith Johnson Patterson's niece, um, goes to the basket. She's headed to uh, Iowa yeah. State, correct? Headed to Iowa State, yep, and, and, um, on a basketball scholarship. They won another state championship this year. Well, they kind of, won. kind of dominated uh, Class 3A. Yep. That first free throw was good. We got a score of a 16 to a 14. 
in favor of Team Faith. So I want to say want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers listening to us today here on this nice day. Uh, happy Father's Day to you, James, and all the other fathers out there. To Layer Rich. Oh, Chelsea McGee. Chelsea McGee to the, to the basket. Sees the opening. Goes to the basket. Chelsea's, Chelsea's very good at that. Take, take him with the defense gives her. She is. She can shoot it from three, and she can also bring it to the take it to the basket. So we got a foul in the basket here on Tyra, Tyra Johnson. Fouls the entry pass to Sade Curtis. So it looks like I think teams are starting to settle in now, and they're starting to figure out how each other play. Both of them are kind of doing a four out. Team Faith is kind of playing a five out um, system. But and the big girl Sade Chapman, the tallest girl on the court, on the court today, <laughs> probably in the game today, knocks down a three. So nice that just shot. shows the versatility of of, of Miss Sade Chapman. Totally. Oh, nice move by Rich. Nice kick out. Nice shot for the kick out. Nice play. Nice play. And I think our, our two tallest girls, Tyra Johnson, is probably the second tallest player. <laughs> she hits her second three of the game. So our tallest players are shooting, shoot, hit, hit the threes here. Shooting the wells. That tied the ball game up 19 19. We're here at St. Thomas University. Nice campus here, the University of St. Thomas. McGee with the ball. What's she going to do with it? Oh, nice pass again. Open for the three. And Tyler bring it up. Johnson, it's her third three of the game. Third three Chelsea in Chelsea McGee, she's going to sit out there and let Chelsea McGee just dish to her all day. <laughs> I would, too. It must be nice to play, you know, with a, with a guy like Chelsea McGee. All you got to do is stand and shoot. Chapman again with the shot. Oh, number seven. Nice. Uh, Taylor Cunningham Taylor with the Cunningham. finish. Phyllis Webb. Out of Osseo. I heard a real nice story I uh, read on the uh, high school website about in the 200 meter dash. Uh, Taylor Anderson is in this game. Yes. Hurt herself. And uh, Phyllis Webb carried her after winning, went back and, and, and carried her to the side and let her get her in. You know, being a competitor helped her cross the finish line. All that, that's, that shows great sportsmanship and friendship. Yep. Yeah, but exactly. With, you know, and, and with, with AAU basketball and AAU track and all this kind of stuff, a lot of these young ladies compete with each other yep. over the summer, mm -hmm. and then they get in the wintertime and they compete against each other. But they but they are good friends. And again, sportsmanship, you know, uh, Miss Webb is a, is a great, great leader and a good sport in all the sports that she participates in. She's a great athlete. Yeah, I mean, fab she, fabulous she, athlete. Like I said, she won the state in the 200 meters. Um, which is a fab, which is an outstanding, probably the hardest race there is. Um, she won the state in that, and then she uh, is also an uh, outstanding all-star basketball player also. So. And, and, and a three-sport athlete and a volleyball player as well. Awesome. Awesome. So, didn't, didn't uh, know that. A great three-sport three -sport athlete that will be playing at Eastern Michigan next year with her friend and teammate Janae Morton from Osseo as well. Oh, okay. Eastern Michigan. 23-22 with five minutes left to go about in the uh, first half of the girls version of the inner city, 20th annual inner city. And we got a All steal on the inbounds by Lola Horn. Gets Over. a steal. Oh, pass the ball. A little late on the pass. Maybe still on the pass. Star scoops it up. And goes in for the and floater for it. Or two over Lashondra Curtis. Horn with the ball. Horn, Horn with the ball in all-star fashion, pushing the ball back up the floor quickly. Rich. Back to Lola Horn. Stuck. She's got Rich for three. No good. Rich for three. Lock it on the rebound. Can't quite get the handle, picks it up. Coming up the floor, setting up again. The teams look like they're settling in now and starting to starting to play some some decent basketball. Not all one-on-one. -on -one. No, some Good passing on oh, Nice block, block shot out of there. Blocked by Talaya Rich, out of bounds. Talaya Rich, awesome basketball. Headed to Odessa, Odessa, Texas, Odessa Junior uh, College. Yep, in Texas. So that's that's going to be a nice uh, challenge for her up there. In that that, that right. basketball on the pocket is it? 
Uh, Lockett has a great post feed into Ty to Tyshawna Johnson. And Janae Morton comes over with the help and blocks it out of bounds. 25-22 is your score. Chapman with the pull up. And shot no good, rebound. Tyshawna Johnson with the rebound and one. And one, T you know, Team Faith, I think in, in, in true, true, true Faith Johnson Patterson form, they are working the boards, regardless how tall, how small they are. I think the smallest girl on the floor got the first rebound before Tyshawna Johnson got the rebound. And that's for sure. Shade Chapman going to the ACC, playing at Clemson. Going to play for Clemson. She, she originally committed to uh, uh, Alabama Birmingham, uh -huh. but then her coach she committed to got the job at Clemson. Wow. So she went to follow her teammate to Clemson. Wow. That's I mean, follow her coach, I should say. Out in South Carolina, nice area out there. Horn, number 12, Horn. Leela Horn does kind of the jab step and one move, pulls up, hits the three. Nice Great shot. shot. Nice shot. 28-25, nice close ball game to the basket. Oh, no good. Talia Rich with the rebound, with the push, showing her versatility as she played mostly forward and high school, but has the ability to do more things. Look at Horn to the basket. Horn to the basket, comes up a little short. Claire Thomas going to Washington University in St. Louis. Phenomenal academic institution. Okay, it's no good. Thought she, was, she, she thought she was fouled on the play. And to the basket, again, no call. Oh, ball stolen. Morton steals it back. Janae Morton, Osseo. 28-27, this game is close. One point ball game. Oh. Good cut. It was, it was a cutter. It's kind of, I think, hard with the uniforms to see who's exactly on your team. So I think she thought she saw a teammate flashing and yep. just kind of didn't hit her. Claire Thomas with the pull up, comes up empty. Talaya Rich pulls it down. Loose ball on the floor, Tynika Cage gets it. And good feed in to lock it for the score. The finish. Janae Morton back up quickly again in all-star game fashion. What? Nice spin, spin move, move to the basket. Pull oh, up. no good. Rebound. Curtis no good. with the rebound flies in. And Horn finishes the play. Horn finishes. So, so both teams working hard on the boards trying to get that extra shot. Now what I, we're not we're not gonna be able to know right now is who is uh headed for the uh MVP. Talaya Rich with the finish. There's a so, lot of different people scoring right now. It's gonna be interesting. Exactly. Looks like team team Robinson decided to put on a little full court pressure. Bringing the heat a little bit. This last minute. Rich, oh, with the steal. Three steals in a row here. Talaya Rich with the last two. Spin oh. move inside, and we got a foul. Go up to the line, shooting two. Talaya Rich. 40 seconds left to go in the first half of the Inner City. Girls version of the Inner City All-Star Classic. Talaya Rich out of Robinson Cooper at the line, shooting two. And the first one is good. It is good. There's gonna be a nice basketball field day for me. I'm gonna watch them do these two games here and go home and watch the NBA Finals and exactly. <laughs> so she completes completes Both. the uh, two point two point play there off the steal. And Truth has uh, surged ahead. They were down uh, five. At Oh, oh. Which comes into the hoop. Kind of gets bumped, but again, it's an all-star game. We let him play, knocks the ball out of bounds. 26.2. Wonder if we got some strategy here, or are we just going to let him play? Let's see what Coach Robinson decides. You got one of his guards that play for him at Como with the ball. Horn. And she shoots the three. This oh, the no three good. Misses. 14 seconds to go. 14 seconds. Team Faith. Lock it up. Lock it with the ball. I see Claire Thomas misses. And oh, 
Oh, and Talia Ricks gets the three-pointer off in time, but it's no good. What's your halftime score? Team Truth is up three, 33 to 30 in our 20th annual Inner City All-Star Classic. So what do you think of the first half? Well, I think the first half is, you know, was exactly what uh, uh, we were looking for. You know, up and down play. I think your um, your kind of star players, you want to call that, some of our bigger players, Tyra Johnson, Sade Chapman, showed their three range. I think you saw, um, although, you know, Alina Starr probably hasn't scored a lot, she's really kind of run the show for Team Faith and handled the ball and got the got the ball out to uh, the players. And then for, for Coach Robinson's Team Truth team, um, He's had kind of, Chelsea McGee has kind of stolen the show here, either driving to the basket or kicking the ball out for open threes. So, you know, it's, it's been a great, great all-star game so far. Yeah, I and mean, that's pretty much the same thing I saw. And it's just a lot of, uh, you know, good, hard team play. You know, they're, they're playing well and they're playing together. And they're not, uh, you know, being selfish. It's been a real, you know, the real uh, good first half to see. Fun, lots of scoring. Uh, but it's a lot of scoring, but they are trying to play defense. That's the good part is they're not just letting each other score. They're actually giving effort on defensive end, but the offense has just been better so far, which has been a make of a good game to watch. 33 to 30 is your score. It's uh, halftime. It's halftime of the uh, inner city all-star classic. So I'm gonna get Angel Robinson here for, for an interview, and we'll be right back with you. Welcome back. This is Troy Russell. I'm here with Inner City All-Star Classic alumni, uh, St. Paul Central alumni, yeah, yeah. University of Marquette alumni, Angel Robinson. Angel, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Tell me a little bit about what you got going on these days. You know, I just got back from playing over in Sweden this year. Got back in April. So right now, you know, I'm just uh, just training, trying to stay healthy, rehabbing, all that good stuff. Rehabbing, um, you injured yourself. What, t tell us about that. Yeah, last year I injured my back, so I'm still, I came back from it, kind of re-injured myself a little bit um, again this year, but I'm still finished out my season strong and playing and just staying on top of things so nothing gets worse. Now, are you going back to Sweden this coming season, or are you going to go somewhere else? Or? I'm not sure. Working on that still right now, but right now it's just a waiting game. Anything could happen any day. I could hear from another team, but I'm just trying to stay on top of my what I got to do to stay healthy and stay strong and in shape. Now, what does that look like? Do you train every day? Do you have a, a certain trainer you work with? or? Yeah, right now, you know, I'm back and forth between going to Marquette and coming here, training with my brother. And when I'm down at school, I'm working with some of the Bucks staff, Milwaukee Bucks, the NBA team down there, and also with my university still. So what kind of experiences? Now, a lot of the women um, here in the States go overseas to play, and they tell me you guys make a better living there than you do here. Tell me a little bit about the overseas experience. I mean, the overseas experience is amazing. You know, you get to learn different cultures. You know, my first year out of college in 2011, I was in Turkey, and that was a good experience. This year was a little easier for me being in Sweden. It was a little more Americanized, and everybody, for the most part, spoke English, so it was easy to adapt to there. And, I mean, it's a good living in WNBA and as well as overseas. It's just a longer season. Yeah, exactly. Now, do you... Do you have any prospects that possibly um, getting back into the into the uh, WNBA? Yeah, I was hoping to this uh, this this spring, but it didn't work out. You know, I had three teams reaching out to me after my Swedish season, but as after the draft, rosters just filled up, and I wasn't able to get into a training camp. But you know, any day is 
Not every day is promised somebody could get injured and I could get a call, so that's why I can't ever take a day off. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming over and, and sharing your experience with us, and we really uh, want to say congratulations to you from the New City All-Star Classic, and thank you for coming back and giving back to our game today okay. as one of the coaches with your dad. How is it coaching with your dad over there today? You know, it's pretty amazing for him to uh, ask me to do this for him today. You know, the only thing he, I just got back into Minnesota today, this afternoon. So the only thing he wanted for Father's Day was for me to help him coach this game. So, you know, the love and support coming back for this and sharing it with my dad, it's, it's always amazing. Well, good. Well, again, congratulations and thank, thank you, you so much. And, we'll, and we hope to see you soon. Yeah, thanks. All I appreciate right. for having me back here. All right. Tell your brother I said hello. I will. All right. All right. All right. That was Angel Robinson, 2007, Inner City All-Star Classic alumni and uh, currently a professional basketball player overseas. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. All right, this is Troy Russell back at 20th Annual Inner City All-Star Classic. I'm here with Bo Powell. Bo is the head boys basketball coach at Park Center High School. Uh, the uh, 4A class, 4A runner-up this year. Uh, Bo, tell me a little bit about this season and, 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 and how you guys were able to, to uh, make it that far this year. Uh, it was a good season. You know, we, um, we fell up a little short of uh, what I, we've been talking about for the last three years. Um, I took over the program three years ago, and we talked about from the start getting to the state. Um, and being state champions. Uh, we fell a little short of that, but uh, the guys did a good job. They bought into the, all the expectations. They worked hard in the off season, and, and they believed that they, they can win. They, they wanted to, to change how people seen Park Center and uh, Brooklyn Park and uh, wanted uh, to get some of that uh, joy back to the community. Now, one of your, one of your players was uh, one of the state's best players in Quentin Hooker. Tell me a little bit about Quentin. Oh, Quentin, man, he, he's been the, the unsung hero for me for three years. Uh, when I got there, I told him, I said, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on you because you got a lot of potential. Uh, either I'm going to push you into being a leader or I'm going to push you out. And he, he stood up and took the challenge, and he, he, he's a coach's dream. He does everything that you ask him to do on and off the floor. Uh, and he, was, he has been probably one of the most underrated players uh, up until just this year. So yeah. Um, yeah. he is, um, you know, he is... He's special, man. He's very special. Now, the other two young men you have playing with you uh, in this game, uh, Devin Buckley and, and, and Trayton Daniels, you guys, with those three guys, you guys had one heck of a core. Um, that game was that game was packed at the Apple Valley game. Tell me a little bit about um, what your plans are for next season, losing these three uh, studs you had this year. Well, they were the big three. You know, they were, they were Park Center's big three. But we got we got some young guys that are extremely talented and extremely hungry that are going to are um, st step in and fill those shoes. It's going to be big shoes to fill, but they've been sitting back waiting for their opportunity to show that just because these are guys are going don't mean that, that this whole little thing is done. We, we're just starting. Yeah, and, and, and uh, you get one final opportunity to coach these guys today. Are you excited about coaching them in their last uh, high school game? Well, I'm extremely excited because, these, you know, these guys are, are uh, special to me. You know, we, we go back from days when we weren't winning any games. 
to winning a lot of games. So um, I'm just so happy for those guys because they, they put in a lot of time and effort to, to, to make this thing happen. Well, thanks for coming over and talking with me, Broderick, and we look forward to seeing you today in the boys' game coming up next to the 20th Annual Inner City All-Star Classic. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, second half of the girls' game has started, and the score is now 33 to 232. Team Faith has opened the second half with scoring. Cage with the shot. LaShonda Curtis, I mean. Janae Morton to the basket. Oh, and one, and one. Janae Morton. And Team Truth back up 35 to 32. Welcome back, James Fassett. James had a couple interviews there. The second half has started just like it, the first half ended. Exactly. Up and down, a lot of going to the basket. It looks like now the teams have kind of started kind of their big guns. You know, the three kids from De La Salle started for Team Faith with um, Sade Chapman from Central and Taylor Cunningham started the uh, started the second half and then you got Team Robinson starts with uh, Chelsea McGee the two players from Osseo start um, so LaShondra Curtis started so it looks like you're the uh, second half these coaches kind of looking at probably a little bit more strategy this uh, second half we'll probably see, especially as we got a tie game here with two minutes, two minutes gone in the first half. Yeah, Shade Chapman like she hit another three. And oh, she, she's got a really nice shot for a big girl. She really does. She really does, which makes her a very good uh, potential college basketball player. So, you know, she's, 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 you know, I remember her running track as a, as a six and seven year old and, and, and gaining that coordination all that early. And, you can definitely tell how that's helped her um, um, in her basketball, you know, gaining that coordination and that speed and everything early in her. Exactly. Chelsea McGee, oh, to the Chelsea basket. Goes to the Fouled basket. hard. Fouled hard by Taylor Cunningham, who just scored on the other end. Um, so, yes, again, uh, you know, Chelsea McGee, kind of the way she plays, it looks like she's, set, she's uh, setting the defense up. Because the last couple times she's penetrated in and not kicked it. Now she's going to start kicking it here in a little bit and it's going to leave her shooters wide open. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She's she's a heady player. I mean, you know, she really is uh, a, a heady player. And I got to age myself. I uh, coached her father um, growing up <laughs> with the uh, Minneapolis Running Rebels, our a, uh, AAU traveling program back early 90s. Exactly. Chelsea McGee is headed to Western Florida. Um, a Division II program down in Pensacola. The leading star kicks out, oh, then reposts in and goes oh. up strong. Blocked nice block. by the athletic Janae Morton. Chelsea McGee, Chelsea McGee on the run. Oh, goes in again. Oh, he calls travel. We got to oh. travel. It was a tough call either tough way. Call. Either way. I mean, it looked like she was a little bit out of control, so that's probably maybe the best call to make in that situation. I think so, too. I think you're right on that. Lena Starr with the ball. Oh, wide open down is Curtis. Curtis. Curtis kind of mishandles the pass. Tie ball game, 16 minutes to go in the game. The women's game, the Inner City All-Star Classic. And McGee to the basket. McGee nope. goes into the basket. Bringing in Chapman wasn't the smartest thing to do on that play. Well, you know, it, it uh, uh, wasn't, but I think, you know, what Chelsea's looking for, she's looking for her players to spot up around the outside. Exactly. And, and, I, get, and again, in the All-Star game, when, you, when you're not sure how to play with people, that's what happens. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, and I, I think that she'll, you know, learn her lesson next time I just pull up, you know, uh, or kick it rather than try and shoot over to 6-1. Uh, Shade Chapman. Exactly. Both teams look like they sub a little bit. Cage pulls up off the off the off the step back. Rich Claire comes Rich. out. Oh, nice. Pushes the nice ball coast to coast with the floater. Oh. And comes up short. Is fouled on the play. Looks like she'll be shooting too. You know, a good handle, kept her head up and decided, you know, I think made made the conscious decision. None of her players were open, so she would just keep putting pressure on the defense and wind up getting to the rim. Exactly. She saw uh, 
Tyra Johnson out the corner of her eye there and uh, was going to make that pass. So Tyra Johnson has hit a couple threes, but then when she was able to get all the way to the rim, so might as well take the layup. Exactly. Leia Rich, outstanding dual threat, rebounding, scoring threat out of Cooper High School. Uh, can't convert on either free throw. Team, team Faith brings it up. Three. Oh, that was a long ways out there. By Chanel Scott. Lock it. Missed Stolen by Rich. Rich. Gets another. Rich is very active defensively. Nice. Oh. oh. Misses the misses layup. Misses on the layup. And number 11, Horn on foul on the rebound. Rich is very active defensively. Gets her hands on a lot of basketballs. Mm -hmm. She does. She, she's, she's got a whole lot of game. Play from a whole underneath the basket, outside on the floor defensively. Just an outstanding player. Nice. Nice, nice stutter move to the basket. Tyra Johnson pulls out the rebound with the long outlet. Mishandled. You got a tie ball game still at 37. The scoring has has uh, decreased a little bit, but they're still playing very hard. The competitiveness is going to start coming out. You know, it's going to be winning time coming up here pretty soon. For sure, for sure. You know, right now it looks like the lineups are both very small right now. You, you know, you got a lot of the smaller players in, so that kind of lends itself to a lot of steals, a lot of little scrappy play. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A three going up got and no good. Cage is Cage is Cage is kind of dominating inside right now. She yes. made a strong post move. Just got a rebound in she there. Now a, she pulls up a deep three and, and hits, hits it. it. I was just gonna say she hasn't been able to finish, and I'm glad she did it before I got it out of my mouth because she certainly finished on that one. Nice sure. shot by Cage. Horn, uh oh, she gonna do? Oh, stolen. Cage with the steal, with the handle. Cage with the steal, handle the ball. Any uh, any college coaches out there paying attention or watching? Oh. Cage is undecided. <laughs> Pulls up another step back three. Rich, Rich comes down in transition, kicks out to Horn. Short. Lock it with the ball. Uh, Pushes Alexis up in transition. Looks like they're kind of setting up some five out. Cage is really trying to trying to assert herself here these last, yeah. these last couple of minutes. Way? Yeah, her elbow gonna start hurting in a minute. <laughs> oh, we gotta travel there. We gotta travel, look like they, uh, Rich tried to do a little spin move, step through. And we got us some subs coming in. 40 to 37 is the score now in favor of Team Faith. You know, so currently right now, I think here's, here's your lineup with probably a lot of your scoring, because you got you got about five Division One players on the floor right now. Five or six Division One players on the floor right now. You know um, that. You know that really teams. speaks to the strength of women's basketball in Minnesota right now because that is a lot of Division One players for this state, not only in one game, and exactly. we have more that aren't here from other, you know, schools. Other schools. Three. Was that Tashana Johnson? That was in. That was Tashana Johnson from her teammate and friend Alina Starr at De La Salle. No good. That Janae Morton, no good. Oh, nice pass. Great outlet. Beautiful pass. pass. Beautiful pass by, by Taylor Cunningham. Right back to Curtis, back on the other end. Curtis finishes right back. Another now you're right, the scoring has started right back up. Just like you said, right on cue. Three or four yeah. buckets in a row, 47-39. Team Faith has run away with it a little bit. Chelsea McGee, the Curtis. Oh, nice shot. Curtis hits a two. She hits a two. 47-41. The scoring has picked up. Star with the ball. Deep three. And oh. Comes up short. Comes no up short, short on that shot. No rush. Don't look like she had her feet set or anything. 47-41 is your score in favor of Team Faith. Chelsea McGee. Stops, pulls up. Oh, doesn't make the shot. That's darn near automatic when she shoots that. I'm surprised that didn't go in. Exactly. Tashana Johnson with the ball. Brings it up, pushes it ahead a little bit. Sade Chapman, the Clemson recruit, finishes, finishes the inside feed. 
Taylor Anderson pushing the ball up the court. Taylor Anderson, one of oh. the few athletes out here who actually is, is going to run track at, at, at the University of Connecticut. Yeah. UConn, which is a women's basketball school, but she is, she is going to run track. Yep. Yeah, she is an outstanding track athlete. Phyllis Webb. Phyllis Webb to the basket and Shadi Chapman said, uh, I'm not going to allow you to shoot layups. And it looks like the, the official called that on the floor. Which Whoa. looked like it was a block <laughs> it was definitely on the shot, but he called it on the floor. So, so must, must Chelsea been, McGee will inbound. Must have been on the floor. Oh, Hernandez man. comes around. Oh, no good. Taylor Cunningham pushes the ball up the floor. Goes in all, all the way. way to the basket. Phyllis Webb. Right. Now, I bet you Phyllis going to come right back at her. Oh, no, she passes it to Morton. Oh. Safe going out of bounds. Stay. Nice hustle. Star pushes the ball up the court. Looking to wheel and deal. We got no shot on the play. We got a foul on the outside up top. And so Team Faith will inbound. Nice, nice. Oh, nice finish. Nice play. Give and go on the play. A nice, a nice. You know, nice play by Alina Starr here. And for those Claire who, Thomas, Claire Thomas on the finish. Taylor Anderson with the dribble and the finish. Just Taylor Anderson. Finish. You know, for those now, we got about eight minutes to go in the game. For, and for those who have watched Minnesota high school basketball, especially the girls game, and watched Starr at all, this is kind of Alina Starr's time. She, exactly. she really takes control of the game at this point and will and will put the players where she needs them to be and she'll either make the shot or kick it out. She kind of, you know, I kind of liken that to uh, LeBron James a little bit. Mm -hmm. Making the right play. Don't necessarily have to score it, just make the right play. Shade Chapman, I think, is running away here with the MVP. She is, she is usually in games like this just about who scores the most and I think right now she's putting some buckets on the board. She is, and also defensively. I mean, she's, yeah. she's made some nice defensive plays and uh -huh. some strong defensive plays. And, you know, no layups, block shots, all that kind of stuff. Morton at the line, and she uh, makes one of two. 55-44 is the score. Star with the ball ahead. Johnson for three. Oh. Smallest player on the floor with the rebound, rebound and, and put puts it in. Taylor Cunningham, Cunningham. Taylor Cunningham. Who is heading to West Virginia State University. Chelsea. Oh. With the nice no look <laughs> pass to Webb. Cuts down the lane, looks for the kick out of here. <laughs> Hernandez with the, the three. knockdown three from Chelsea McGee. Chelsea McGee is fun to watch, man. She is an outstanding wizard with the basketball in her hand. She is very fun to watch, and I know Team Truth will not go down without a fight. 10-point game, though, 57 to 47 in favor of Faith. Cunningham for three, no good. Looks like Webb got the rebound. She does secure it. She's pushing the ball to the basket. And, oh, they caught a charge on the play. And we call the charge, you know who? Who knows, you know, you know, charges blocked. They're always kind of a questionable call sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe that one was very questionable. But 47, 57 with subs coming. Subs are coming back in. So now we kind of have our smaller lineup for each team on the floor. The opportunity for faith, I mean, for truth to get back in the ball game as these teams seem to have trended a little bit when this group is in towards truth. Exactly. Uh-oh, still. So we got the uh, one of the Horn sisters gets the steal. Talaya Rich back on the floor for, for Truth. Team now, Truth. Now, I think Talaya Rich is the reason why Truth, uh, when she's in the ball game, Truth does well. She's She's been having an outstanding defensive ball game. Exactly. Guarding the point guard, Miss Lockett. Nice defense out there by Talaya Rich to the bucket. Cunningham oh, runs the floor. Running. 
No, Chanel Scott. Chanel Excuse Scott. That was Chanel, Chanel Scott, Scott hits the floater. Chanel Scott, whom also just got an award for having a 3.9 GPA. Awesome. Chanel so, Scott. So a very academic young lady who was also headed to the University of Kansas. Curtis on that finish makes it a 10-point game again. Lock it with the ball. Cage, there she go again. Anika Cage trying to assert herself again with this unit. <laughs> I love that word you keep using. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think she's passed the ball once today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my God. She's trying to get it in. <laughs> Talia Rich with the ball inside. Back out to Horn. Got an inside out action oh, there. Horn good. comes up to, with the miss. Nice pass ahead. Oh, block. That Tyra, Tyra Johnson on the block. Back to Horn. Good defender. Horn kicks it up. Curtis. Curtis with the outside shot. No good. Cage with the big rebound. With the rebound. Pivot out. Oh. Pivot out. If she got her head up, she had a few players yeah, she, open up the court. But again, she was, she was surrounded she was by three pressure. people. So difficult. Ball stays with Team True, 337, 330 or so to go in the game. It's going to be tough to make up 10 points in a running time, three minutes. Wide open. Oh. So we got a little post feed inside. Curtis. Oh, nice Curtis shot. Like didn't go in. And then she powers it back up. Powers back up. So Curtis. 59, 51. Lock it, oh. Lock it kind of crosses up Rich a little bit. Oh, she's fouled. Johnson is fouled by, by a little like Cage there. With Cage, not a bad foul at that point in time um, to, to try and get the clock stopped here, although it is running time. We got a long, oh, long she's wide open. Pass. What a pass. Nice Goes pass. Up, puts it in. Talaya Rich, the heady player, looking up the floor, seeing her teammate Tyra Johnson open. 59 to 53. Only a two possession game. Oh, she Layla, stole it. Layla Rich with the steal. Oh, I'm sorry. Layla Horn with the steal. Oh, I think the ref missed that call. And we're going to go down a little bit. So we got the. Uh, 59. We got, we got subs coming in. We had the Horn Twins really turning up the defense here. Now they're going to come out of the game here. So again, it's a little strategy here um, by the by both coaches. So we got two minutes, 15 seconds to go. We got a six point game. Uh oh, Star with, with the ball back Star to Johnson. With the ball in her hands. Looks like Team Faith is going to run a five, little five out action. Oh, he gave her two shots, too. He gave her two shots on that. that that's... <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's questionable, Coach. A little questionable. I, I, w I wouldn't even be surprised if we had a travel in there. Yeah, I, 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 that was very questionable. There was a lot of questionable things. But, but nonetheless, we got, we got Tyshana Johnson going to the line. And she makes the first, makes it a seven-point game. 60 to 53 in favor of Team Faith. So I think team, uh, team Truth needs to get the ball up as quickly as possible and get shots off as quickly as possible and put that full court pressure back on. She makes both shots. We got Janae Morton pushing the ball up the court. And wow. again, she goes in and, and again, Sade Chapman says, no free lunch here, ladies. No. And she blocks it out of bounds, although it's a foul. Make them earn it from the free throw stripe. Name Morton, good looking shooter. Good nice looking form. Shooter, Knocks nice. Knocks it down. Nice athlete headed to Eastern Michigan. <laughs> and she makes both free throws to bring it back to a two possession game. Star pushes the ball up, kicks it ahead. And it's stolen. We got a steal from Chelsea, Chelsea McGee. McGee. Who's pushing the ball up the floor? Oh, she gets stolen back from her. Gets stolen right. Oh, that little elbow there, but that's all right. It's an all-star game. Johnson to the basket. No, five, no call on the play. We got a oh. tip. We're going to keep it with Team Faith. <laughs> a little words exchange. A little friendly, 
friendly uh, conversation under the basket there. <laughs> 61 to 55 is your score. This we game is getting very tight. A feed into shot Chapman. Chapman, the biggest player in the game. Yeah, I would be very surprised if she don't have the MVP locked up here. It's going to be hard to make up eight points Chelsea. in one minute. Kicks it out to Webb for the three. McKee, Keeps nice back pass. Outside to Henderson Hernandez, who's not one down. Oh, nice hustle. They are, they are competing. I love the competition and the spirit of competition right now. All-Star game and they're competing, it, you know, to win. Exactly, they're going out because it's crunch time now. You got a minute 12, Team Faith trying to hang on to the lead. Team Truth trying to go at it and get the lead. Nice steal by Webb over to Morton, short. Johnson with the rebound. Ahead to Star. To the basket. Oh, oh, I thought she was going to shoot that. Nice play. A nice play by, by Star. <laughs> Again, it's kind of Star's time. End of the game, she kind of runs the show. Oh, no good by Webb. Oh, Star with the ball. <laughs> she traveled, caught her at travel on Cunningham. Caught her at travel, but Star really handling the ball behind her back, through the legs. You know, Star, I think, has a has a good career ahead of her at Auburn University. Another player who originally committed to Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., but their coach moved to Auburn, and so there she can, she continued to go to Auburn with her coach. You know, and, and, and it's, it's going to be fun to watch these guys get on the big stage and see if they can carry on the legacy that they created for LaSalle. Uh, her and, uh, her and uh, Tyshana going to the bigger programs. Oh, ball stolen. Well, That's Horn. Horn. Team True. Horn with the O. Should have a three here coming up soon. Looking for somebody for the three. Just going to get the quick two. Gonna get the quick oh, two. didn't get it. Chelsea McGee. Kick it out. Kick it out. Back up for the three. We need, you need the three. And there we Our go for three. for three. Oh, no good. Johnson with the ball, and that is the game. And your final score is Team Faith 65. Team True 55. Again, I'm going to uh, we'll get the MVP of the girls game over uh, as soon as we know who that is. My guess is going to probably be, well, I don't know. I guess I better not take a guess because there is, there is a lot between Elena Starr and Tashana Johnson and Shade Chapman. It'd be my guess on one of those three, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was either one of them. Exactly. All, you know, all three of them had great games, and, and I think the one thing about it is they all three played great together as yes, well. They you did. know, they shared the ball, and they, got, they hit each other in positions where they could be successful and score the basketball. You know, but you know, all the games, you know, Taylor Cunningham had a nice game, you know, with, with getting some rebounds and getting some shots, and then, then if you look on the other side of the of the coin with Team True. Chelsea McGee had a great game. Saleya Rich, we said her name a lot with getting steals and stuff. And so, you know, you had Phyllis Webb, Janae Morton, who also played well. So, you know, again, there's a lot of talented girls in this game, and it's a shame that, you know, they all couldn't get some, but I think the reward for all of them is ending their high school career playing right here at St. Thomas University in St. Paul, Minnesota, playing in front of their, their parents, their friends, their family, all the people who have kind of watched them grow up playing the game. Exactly, and you know, the great thing about this game is we give uh, these girls the stage to go out, um, you know, as an all-star, playing in front of their family, playing and with other girls that are, you know, uh, light skill that, that they have and be able to really showcase themselves. And it's really a, a good opportunity for these uh, young people to showcase their talents on a stage like this. So uh, Angel uh, Robinson was just announced and we are, uh, the play, the play of the game award is being announced now, and that's uh, you know Angel had a play when she played uh, where she threw it behind her back between her legs and hit somebody with a nice pass. So okay. the play of the game goes to 
Uh, Lena Star. Lena Star. And she, I'm willing to bet it's it's the play where she drove down the lane late, went around her back, and uh -huh. then kicked it to the short corner for the nice little shot. So yep, 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 I'm willing to bet. You know, Star has has some great plays in her. So you know, again, it's good. You know, back to the idea of these young ladies going out like this, and a lot of these young ladies are going to college outside of the state of Minnesota, and so it's hard for some of their family to watch them. So it's great to have this opportunity for them one last time to show their talents in front of their friends and family. No doubt, no doubt, and that's and that's what this is about. You know, that's why, you know, it's a big family day. That's why we do it on Father's Day, and you know, just want to make it a big family atmosphere, and it's always MVP award is coming up. And Tamara Moore will present the award, which is in her honor and her name. Tamara, Tamara Moore was the only female we've had that played with the, in the men's game. At that time, we didn't have a girls' game. We had a men's game, and she played with the men. And she held she held her own. She did very well when she played with the boys. And Tamara is also a former Shade Chapman, a former WNBA player. Yep, Shade Chapman does win the MVP, like I expected. From from St. Paul Central, the tallest player on the floor probably hit the most threes of the game. Mm -hmm. um, and so Sade Chapman, who will be heading to Clemson University in South Carolina, did have a great game and and and, and, and uh, played with um, some great teammates um, and had a great coach and a great win for Team Faith. And so again, at from St. Thomas University, the Inner City All-Star Classic 20th Annual, put on by uh, Derek Rubin, who is a um, local young man who, was a, who had a phenomenal basketball career as well at North High, um, has done a great job for the community and putting this event on, boys and girls, and allowed a lot of, lot of young men and young ladies to um, end their high school careers playing in front of their friends and family. And now we will have the MVP, Sade Chapman, here with an interview with Mr. Russell. Thank you. Hey, old friend. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, what does this mean to you? Um, it means a lot because I've been working hard, so I'm glad I finally got something. You finally got something. Yeah. You know, I remember you as a little girl running track with my daughter way back at Alstair T. Alston. You've grown up to be a fabulous athlete. I, you know, pretty much predicted that, that you had the MVP wrapped up after the first half, and you just was dominating out there, in the blocking shots, rebounding, scoring. Tell me a little bit about about your game today? Um, well, we, this the whole summer I've been working on, well, since we got out of school, just my shot. So I've been shooting a lot of threes and stuff, and that's what I've been working on. So I'm glad to see it's been improving. Now, that's what I noticed most was, was how improved your outside shot was. So you've been working hard on that? Yeah, definitely. Now, you're going to Clemson next year, correct? Yep. Out in South Carolina. Tell me a little bit about why you picked Clemson. Um, actually, my coach, um, she, Coach Smith, she's been, she was coaching at UAB, and I went down and I visited, and I liked that school a lot. And then she had recently got the job at Clemson, and she asked me if I wanted to go, and I liked the school, so I decided to just go with her. Wow. So now, do you like the area? Have you been there to visit? I haven't anything? been there, but I leave Saturday. So. You leave Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's a nice area. I have been there. It's a beautiful school, beautiful campus. And congratulations to you, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. That's Sade Chapman, MVP of the 20th Annual Inner City All-Star Classic. Congratulations to Sade. <laughs> Tamara Moore is uh, having team pictures here at the... Uh, 20th Annual Inner City All-Star Classic. That was Sade Chapman. You know, are you surprised that, that she was able to come in and dominate the game today the, the way she was? I was. You know, I think, I think I've seen Sade over the years. Um, you know, the way she's played, the way she's grown up, and she's really grown into a very nice player. And so, you know, although she is the tallest player on the floor, she's probably not the strongest player on the floor, but she's definitely grown. Her skills have grown. Her, You know, she can shoot the three. Um, and so, you know, Sade has grown into a nice player and playing with a player like Star who gets people the ball, she was in the right position. Well, again, that was a fabulous inner city all-star classic um, girls game. I hope the boys game is as good as the girls game. The girls game was outstanding. Again, this is Troy Russell with uh, James Fassett. James, thank you for being with me today. I right. appreciate it and good luck to you uh, next year in your coaching endeavors. Again, this is Troy Russell with SPNN. If you want a, a copy of this game, uh, you can get a copy at uh, SPNN at 651-298. Uh,
uh, I believe it's 8500 uh, or you can just call SPNN themselves. Uh, thank you again.